Hello again, this is the second part of our tree banking tutorial with Arethusa. In the first part we already annotated the morphology of this sentence by Caesar. This time we'll do the actual dependency tree and finish the annotation. We've already seen that when we select a token in Arethusa it is highlighted by a yellow background color. If I now hover over another token you see that my cursor has changed. The little green plus indicates that if I would now click on cum, I would create a dependency arc between cum and asset. This is just what I want to do right now, so I click cum and created my first dependency arc. The selection system in Arefusa also supports multi-selections. If I click Caesar, hold down my control key, I can select or deselect additional tokens to this selection. These multi-selections can be used to draw several dependency arcs at once. Caesar in, the second in and eta all belong to asset, so I connect, connect, connect them with a single click. Let's quickly finish this sentence up to the main clause. Ita uta uti supra demonstravimus. Yes. And don't forget the punctuation. <laughs> That's it. In the main class we have Krebri at eum rumores at verbanto. Krebri modifies rumores at eum is another prepositional phrase. Both belong to at verbanto. At verbanto is a predicate as well as fiebat, so they both belong to this que, and the que itself goes to the root. The subordinate clause we've annotated before modifies the main clause. In the fiebat part we have labieni as genitive to literis. Literis and certio both belong to fiebat. And the item is still unannotated. Item could either be an emphasizing particle to literis here or probably also an sentence adverbal to Fiebert, as it's standing between Literis and Labieni, I'll go with the emphasizing particle for now. Next is the accusative and infinitive construction, which is governed by coniurare and dare, which both go to the que. The subject of this accusative and infinitive construction is omnes belgas. Contra populum Romanum is another prepositional phrase which goes to conjurare. Interse as well, and interse and obsidus both belong to dare. We can now see that we have 9 of 45 unused tokens left. If we click this here, we can add some additional highlighting to them where we can see that we are still haven't done the sentence ending punctuation and the relative clause quam tertium esse gallie patem dixeramus. This is a little trickier to annotate actually. I'm not really going into details here. I'm pretty sure this is could be subject of a lot of debate. Dixeramus governs the relative clause is itself modified by an object clause dependent on esse. Esse has a subject and a predicate nominal which is modified by two attributes. Let's resize this tree a bit because it outgrew my canvas. I did this by controlling my scroll wheel on the mouse. The punctuation is still left belongs to Tixaramus. We have now zero of 45 unused tokens. The dependency tree is finished. Now in a more realistic scenario I would probably have annotated at least some relation labels already. We keep these tasks separated so that I can demonstrate you some of the more advanced features of Arethusa. The relation tab here uh, uncovers the area of the relation plugin. Relation labels can be done in several ways. I can right click tokens to bring up it, their context menu where I can do relation labels. 
or if I select tokens I can do this in the relation plugin tab or I can go to advanced mode where I can do multi selections and apply relation labels to multi selections. Before we do this let's have a look at the search plugin. The search plugin al allows to quick select tokens by several features. By token means that I can just input characters and if they match I'm doing a selection. You see that the regular expression checkbox is ticked here which means that I can do substring searches if I would untick this I really have to put in an exact match to trigger a selection. By form means that I can quick select tokens by their morphological attributes which we have annotated in the first part. I could for example highlight all adjectives or only all adjectives that are comparative. The all box here says that everything I put in this form has to match to trigger a selection. In this case I want all adjectives that are comparative. If I untick this I can do a search connected by an OR so I can select all adjectives and all nouns for example. Okay, let's start. The quiz. Both quiz are coordinations so we use the change all panel here to give them their relation label. I usually do these relation labels in a controlled way so I now have a look at the um, verbs which I'm going to add some additional highlighting for and look at all the clauses in this sentence. The asset sentence is an adverbial clause, demonstravimus is also an adverbial clause, Dixeramus esse. Dixeramus is a relative clause, therefore gets an attribute label. Esse is an object clause to Dixeramus. Conjurare dare are both objects to que, therefore coordinated. Um, they are object and suffixed as with a coordination label. And what's still missing in the verb department are the both predicates, which I can also multi annotate through this panel. Next, I would look at all the nominatives to find subjects. Nominatives triggered now Krebri and Certio as well, so I'll focus only on nouns that are nominative. We had some other subjects in this sentence which were Belgas and quam, so I can give them all their subject label. Rumores was modified by Krebri, so we can now turn our attention to all the adjectives in this sentence. Adjectives usually get a attribute label, genitives do often as well, so we bring them also to our multi-selection. We have everything, almost everything here is an attribute, no hibernis is not, which was a nominalized adjective. Certior is also not an attribute, it's a penom. The rest are really attributes. We have a couple of prepositional phrases here. All prepositions get an aux p label and I saw an appellative here at the in Gallia um, prepositional phrase, so I'm going to look at all the ablatives now. Yes, citeriore is already an attribute. Do we have adverbs as well? Um, yes, supra is an adverb. Okay. We've annotated quite a bit in this sentence already. I can also add additional highlighting to the unused stuff for the relation labels and here I can see that I'm still missing the auxiliary coordinations. I am missing um, eta and item. Eta is a sentence adverbial actually while item is an 
emphasizing particle where is it here <laughs> okay what's still left are mostly objects as I can see apart from partem which is a predicate nominal everything else yes everything else is an object zero unused relation labels we are done we now can save this annotation and have finished our dependency tree thanks for watching take care and bye